Hello, this is JB. I'm with Austin Homebrew Supply here in Austin, Texas. And today we've been discussing equipment and process and ingredients that you would need to make your own beer or wine at home. Well, one of the things that you will encounter as a home beer maker or home wine maker is every once in a while you'll be requested by either the uh, recipe or just by your general knowledge or by us in the homebrew store saying, hey, you know what? If you want to make this recipe, you need to put more yeast into it so that those yeasts can fully process your sugar into alcohol, fermenting to dryness is what we call it. So if you put too little yeast into it, a lot of times it'll mess up the batch. So Sometimes you have to build your yeast colony into a stronger yeast colony with simply more cells. How would you do that? You would use a yeast starter. A yeast starter includes or would actually consist of some equipment and some ingredients, okay? So I'm going to show you the equipment. The equipment that you would need would be a flask or a bottle uh, such as this one here and then a foam stopper. A foam stopper allows a little bit of oxygen to interact because during the first stage of yeast growth, they're going to want to absorb oxygen. So a combination of a flask and a stopper along with their food source, which in this case would be our yeast starter, and then the actual yeast itself, all those things would constitute your yeast starter. So if you want to really get a good vigorous fermentation, make sure that your beer or wine comes out the way you want it to. Make a good solid yeast starter and everything will kind of come together.